Welcome back to GDPG, everybody. <laughs> what was this? I'm trying, yeah. I, I have a habit of like accidentally blocking my face. <laughs> during Hi the guys! I, I try to mimic Nathan who does this. And Nathan's but then like, I just don't go away. <laughs> but anyway, last, last we left off, uh, we were about to finish up stuff with uh, the question mark, question mark, question mark lady. <laughs> so, what do you need me to do? Oh, baby. Sorry for putting you to work like this. Oh, I'm pretty used to it. With your help, I'll be able to leave tomorrow. Thanks so much. Yeah? Great. Well, better rest up for tomorrow. I ought to let Gramps know. Why, it's All fine. Right. Whatever. Sweet. Now we are telling Gramps. Okay. Yeah, we're telling Gramps. Gramps! Um, we're telling Gramps that she's leaving tomorrow? Yes. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, basically to make Gramps happy that we're not keeping the human lady no. in here. Because he's all like, Gramps! Humans are dangerous! I hope Gramps! Like, even though you can't really hear, I hope, like, Sore goes like, Gramps, I'm sitting down right in front of you right now. I know you can't see me through your I'm eyebrows. I'm here. Well, I think he actually might be blind. Hey, Gramps. She says she's leaving I don't think so. Because Soy uh, says, hey, I'm Gramps, sure. I'm here. When he sat down. Well, anime dialogue. I feel like it's more, I mean, like, if you're, Boing. if, like, your parents are like, I need you to come up here, and they got a little bit of sass, if you want to have a little bit of sass back, go up and be like, all right, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's kind of exactly Kujo, what I mean. no one's filled with as much sass as you. I mean, Chris. Like sarsaparilla. Thank you so much. You gonna be okay by yourself? I cannot cause more trouble for you than I already have. I see. <sighs> you'll be fine. Just follow that map and you'll get through the forest with no problems. Oh, it's not that. I believe you. Alicia. Huh? That's my name. Alicia Difta. Alicia? You didn't even know who I was, and you helped me without asking anything in return. Whereas I thought only of myself, leaving you without even a name by which to call me. As a knight, I am ashamed. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. It's okay. I must confess something to you. Hmm? I know this sounds strange, but I believe that the Seraphim really do exist. The myths and legends that are preserved in the Celestial Record must be more than mere fairy tales. Yeah. This crisis that has befallen our world, I believe only the ones spoken of in the ancient legends can truly restore order. The Shepherd, you mean? You're not going to ridicule me? Everyone back in town does. Of course not. You're a real saint, you know that? The Sacred Blade Festival is soon to commence in Lady Lake. A trial will be held based on the legend of the Shepherd's Sword. A trial I think you might be interested in. Me? Time to go. But please, give it some serious thought when you have the time. How come? The Shepherd I see in my mind when I read the legends. I have to say, he reminds me a lot of you. <laughs> What's this? Gramps asked me to go out and search the ruins and find some clues about that girl. I've been down there looking. So wait, this is Alicia's? This is the crest of Highland. I don't think this Alicia is any ordinary knight. I know this is difficult for you, but it really is for the best. Gramps? Hmm. Someone has infiltrated my domain. <laughs> Blast and damnation! Hiding your presence, are you, crafty bugger? Everyone, be warned! There is an intruder in our realm! Find them! They've concealed their presence! 
So chances are good, it's a Hellion! Search with extreme caution! We'll go too. Very well. If it is a Hellion, quick measures must be taken. I'm counting on you. I have a hunch we'll find it around the forest. Good idea. So that, that cutscene was important because it actually, um, it shows the importance or significance of having a domain. Right. Um, yes. And that, this, this is something that comes up a lot later on too. And in um, a but way, we kind of get a seal of almost, in a way, I'm, it's almost like, um, Oops. the problem with having too much control of your domain as well though. Cause like, look how bad they wanted to get Alicia out of here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that had anything to do with the domain. I think it was just the fact that she's, she's different. Different and yeah. well, she can't see and them. She can't see them, but maybe I mean, maybe there's something about her not being like Soray is. You know how Soray is like the chosen one who can speak to Seraphim and see them. Well, the, he can't see them because he's the chosen one. They, I think, they have explained this at this point. There, if you have a little bit of resonance, they can teach you and have you adapt to being able to see them. So but, I but more importantly, because Soray grew up with them, that's the thing that made sure I he could see. I wonder them. if you'll see Soray trying to teach Alicia how to see them. Yeah, it's it's possible. Because, I, I mean, I just feel like it, it's a very strange idea, and I think it's interesting that they're doing it, having a character you just don't see. Like, someone cannot see in your party or multiple oh, people. I didn't expect to find anything but the main course here. But now there's two more side dishes. What on earth is this thing? Is this the Hellion? This is not the place for one such as you. Leave at once. <laughs> Impudent brat. I can smell the fear wafting off of you, those tender arms trying to conceal their shivers. Saray! Mmm. Aren't you a succulent treat? What? Did I stutter? I'm saying I'm going to eat you! As if! I can take you! This is the first time I've really noticed the patterns on that blade. He didn't get a new one, right? That's been his blade the whole... On Saray's blade? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, as far as I know, they've always been there. Yeah, I know. I, it just, I feel like it's really pronounced in that one scene. And I guess I never really noticed I was red before. I guess that's fair. I mean, it could have been because of the environment, right? Now that we're in a very bright, and vibrant, true green environment, seeing more stuff. Right, exactly. It's gonna, it's gonna clash a lot more. Dude, look at those clouds. I actually like how those clouds look. I know that like their skybox is, is beautiful. Vibe, yeah, it looks really nice. Like, I feel like I wish that the senior round looked as nice as those clouds. Yeah, but at the same time, that'd be really hard because the background is just a, a 2D image. Right. In a, well, in a skybox, right? So it's a 2D image that actually loops around the environment. Um, I'll talk, aren't you? But it is beautiful. Yeah, it really is. It's very pretty. Be gone. <laughs> like, why do they let him keep eating him? I think it's just because he eats it so fast. Yeah, true. It's like, what do you do, you know? And that, and it's just so horrifying that you're like, oh my god, this is happening. It's like when you're just stuck there. Away with you, evil being! Or you want to take us all on at once? Hmm. I shouldn't be snacking anyway. Not when the main course is getting away. Mason. We can handle the rest. Gramps, that fox-looking thing, was that really a Hellion? They can talk to us? Yes. That's the form of a human who has become a Hellion. Corrupted, essentially. Humans can become Hellions? Now, it's time you went back home and rest. We should. Come on, let's head back. Right. So, it begins anew. Now, what is he talking about beginning anew? So, I think that's probably in reference to the the shepherd. 
the beginning of the shepherds. So, so you think that all of this is equaling out to the shepherds' return? Yeah, it, it must be. So, let's talk over this a little bit. I find this scene a little absurd because he's thinking about the situation that just happened and when this this monster guy runs away he's he's like oh i'm gonna go get the main course and me as the player in us we're like obviously it's, it's, alicia. it's alicia because who else would it be we already have de declared that she's a special knight right like she's more than just the ordinary knight and what else is in this area that would call for it yeah Hey, um, oh, you got a new glove called Prized Glove. So I think better? this is this is uh, valuable. This is just oh, something that sits in our inventory, okay. and it doesn't have any special effect. But there are other things that do, such as the Windmaster Talisman. This, this, these are really, really nice, and I kind of like how they handled it in this and game. It just increases your movement speed on the so map. So once you acquire it, you just get it. Yeah, I don't have to equip it. It's that's just that's kind of nice. But it's only on map affected things, right? Not like in battle. It doesn't work in battle, no. So, but it, it does work if we're like running around in dungeons and stuff too. You go it, faster. It helps increase the pace of the game, and Which I. It's good. It's a very good way of um, ramping up the the pace of the game. It, right. It lets it start stuff slow and, and build up. Plus, it gives you more of a reason to want to explore the world, yes. so you can possibly come across. Well, like with like any Tales games, I don't even run across it yet. There's gonna be puzzle maps coming up eventually. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. So that'll be kind of nice because those puzzles can get very daunting. And very repetitive at times. Yeah. Not all the time. There have definitely been some really cool dungeons, like in Symphonia, when they did the um, the mirror dungeon or whatever, and you had to, like, bounce the light mm -hmm. off. But, yeah. Something else I want to mention, too, is that in the, the conversation just after the... Um uh, oh, yeah, I should go to the save point. Uh, just after the conversation after... with Yeah, with the Hellion, is uh, corruption and... Um, um, oh, malevolence. Malevolence is a huge... It, that's like the theme of the game, at least mm. in the beginning. Uh, I don't know if that changes later on. At least on. the first arc of the story very much seems like yeah, yeah. What, what, what impurity is and what it can do. Mm -hmm. It's it's a huge, huge thing. Um, so, uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm just pointing it out, but we're, we're going to see this theme continue on throughout the rest of the game. Okay. Oh? Whoa! Miklio! Why are you here? Thought I'd let you duck out of here. Well, I'm going to. Seriously? We can talk more while we travel. We don't have time. But from what the Foxman said, it's fair to assume that he's after Alicia. You picked up on that too, huh? Of course. Now, let's hurry. Hey! What? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I'm just... Really happy you came with me. I couldn't let you navigate the world of humans alone. Not as guileless as you are. I bet Gramps is mad, though. He was ready for it, in a way. He knew you'd leave someday. Hey, I'm just stepping out for a bit. I'll see him again. Gramps has always known. That once you left, you'd live the rest of your days with humans. Is this from Gramps? We'll need money to get by in human society. He said to sell that if we're ever in a bind. Uh. And there's a message for you as well. Walk the path you believe in, and live your life to the fullest. And I know you will not go astray. That's what he said. I was hoping for them to go dark here and Miklio being like, I stole this from Gramps. We should totally sell it so we can get some money. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. Hey guys, you'll see more of Miklio and uh, Sore talking about cool shit. Yeah, now that we're venturing out to the real world. Real yeah. world. They're all grown up and getting powerful. <laughs> <laughs> see you next episode. Cool. See you in the archives, guys. Bye. <laughs> Oh, we just gonna cut all this out? Yeah. Okay, so if I say butternut nipple twist. That'll probably make it in the outro. <laughs> butternut nipple twist, butternut nipple twist. Who owns that nipple twist, butternut nipple twist? <laughs>